Hello and welcome to the historic centre of Serravalle. And we're here to see something potentially truly historic. Yes, even more historic than this car park. Because tonight we're going to watch a proud country who have played 32 years of international football and 136 competitive games and won none of them so far. Imagine what it would be like to be there when it happens. Could it be tonight? Could it be a case of 137th time lucky? Welcome back to San Marino. Tonight, San Marino are playing in the UEFA Nations League, a new tournament this year that I will not attempt to explain because we haven't got all night. But the brilliant thing about it is that, unlike regular qualifiers, the Nations League pits countries against other countries of roughly the same level. Big teams play big teams, small teams play small teams. That means that, really for the first time, small nations like San Marino get a chance to win some competitive games. Seriously? You haven't even scored a goal yet. In the FIFA World Rankings, San Marino are currently 209th out of 211, and officially the worst team in Europe. So imagine how amazing it would be to see them win. Tonight's opponents are the mighty Moldova, and San Marino will take them on here at the Stadio Olimpico, the Olympic Stadium, which famously hosted the Olympic Games back in... Um, well, you have to admire the ambition of whoever came up with that name. And talking of ambition, apparently 89 YouTube subscribers isn't enough to get you in through the media entrance. So I guess I'm going to have to queue for a ticket with everyone else. Okay, so a lady came up to me while I was queuing, and once I dusted off my schoolboy Italian, I realised she was offering me a free ticket. We got chatting and it turns out she and her husband got some spare tickets from San Marino's number 10, Luca Torsi, because, quite simply, she's his mum. I guess Granny and Grandad couldn't make it this time. Anyway, little Luca's only on the bench, unfortunately, but maybe he'll be able to get on the pitch later on. With only minutes to go now until kickoff, it's time for the players to line up for the national anthems. Moldova's is quite an upbeat and rousing tune. I can imagine they're inspired by that. Now it's time for San Marino. Well, after that, perhaps it's not surprising that the first 20 minutes are all mulled over. But then, San Marino go up the pitch and get a corner. The ball passes within five yards of the Moldovan goal, and the fans are very excited. Suddenly, San Marino are making some chances. Moldova respond with a fresh spell of pressure at the other end, and a sequence of corners. But they can't get through the brave San Marino defence. And as the half-time whistle blows, it's still nil-nil. And you know what? This could be on, lads. Come on, San Marino! Away! 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 Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Away! 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 Balls. 77 minutes gone, and San Marino's heroic resistance is finally broken. Right, Luca's mum and dad have left. Uh, they've gone. I guess they know from experience that when the team goes 1-0 down, that's kind of it. Or perhaps they have some inside knowledge, because a few minutes later San Marino make their final substitution. And it's not Luca. But what it is, is a last throw of the dice from the San Marino manager. Come on San Marino! Five minutes to go! Still get a goal! We can still get an equaliser here! And then, in the 90th minute, Oh, 
I have no idea how he didn't score from there. I guess it just wasn't to be. As we leave the stadium to possibly the least appropriate tune that the stadium DJ could have chosen, it's disappointing to think that we came so close to seeing San Marino not lose. But as the Moldova fans go off to celebrate long into the night, it transpires we have actually seen something historic here after all. Because by losing 1-0 tonight, San Marino are no longer the worst team in Europe. They're now officially the worst team in the world.